Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you today? I'm great. Excellent, Kayla. Okay, thank you. That is Kelia, right? Kelia. And I say Kayla, yes. but it's Kelia. Okay. I'm sorry for that. Welcome to the class. Today is Thursday. Today we're going to finish our first week. El día de hoy vamos a terminar nuestra primera semana de secciones virtuales, ¿verdad? So tomorrow is Friday and the body now it's mañana es viernes. So, Hello, Francisco. Welcome to the class. Hello, Ricardo, Roxana, Monica, Tatiana, Roberto. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Y we have Patricia, Hello. Jonathan, and Kelly. Welcome to the class. Hello, teacher. Hey, how, how was your day today? How was your day? It was great, it was bad, it was so so, it was busy. It, it was stressful. Stressful today was a stressful day. Okay. Yeah. I worked very hard. Busy. Oh, very busy. Today was a very busy day. You had a lot of work today. Yes, teacher. Okay, but don't worry, in an hour you're going to go to bed and you're going to rest a lot. Yes, uh, just be strong, be strong. It's just one hour. Uh, do you have any questions about some exercises on the platform? No questions, no problems? No questions. No. Oh, teacher. Ah, okay. No, for the moment, no. Okay, um, excellent. One question. What is the correct pronunciation of scanning? Scanning. Scanning. Oh, what is scanning? Scanning. Huh? Scanning, is, scanning is a reading scanning. technique. Es oh. a reading technique. Es una técnica de lectura en la cual usted rápidamente lee un texto. That is a scanning, una lectura scanning. rápida para obtener algún dato, algún dato importante de una lectura. Ok, thanks That teacher. is scanning. Ok. Scanning. scanning. Any other question? Today we're going to start a section, section number two. In this class, we're going to start that section. If you have, if you don't have any other questions, we're going to start with the topic of today. So can we start? Do you agree? No more questions? No. Okay, excellent then. Nice. Okay, it's nice to see you again tonight. Thank you everyone for being here with me. Let's start with the class. Today we're going to study this topic. Let me show you. I'm sharing with you my screen. So let me know, please, if you can already see. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Thanks a lot. Okay, here is the topic for today. Today we're going to study this question, what's the matter? This is the topic, what's the matter? It's mean in Spanish, ¿cuál es el problema? And today we're going to study a lot of vocabulary about body parts and some illnesses, some common illnesses that we always suffer. So let's start with this. These are body parts. Do you remember the body parts? 
Do you remember some body parts? Can you tell me some of them? More or less. Um, okay, so-so. Which one do you remember? Can you tell me some of them? Hands. Hands, then that is when, thank you. Hands. Yes. Nose. Head. Nose, leg, Eye. head. Mouth. Ace. Hand. Nose. Mouth. Lip. Lips, okay. lips, <laughs> lips, tits, fingers, arms. fingers, arms. Okay, excellent. Today we're going to have a review in the next slide. Don't worry about this. So these are some body parts. And we had head, eye, ear, and nose. Head, eye, ear, and nose. In the first part, then we have back, shoulder, chest, stomach. In the second part, in the third part, I have thumb, hand, finger. Then I have leg, knee, and ankle. And in this other side, I have mouth, tooth, teeth, chin, wrist, arm, elbow, throat, neck, foot, feet, toe, and toes. So look at this, head. What's the meaning of head in Spanish? Cabeza. Cabeza, Cabeza. okay. Which of these words mean oído o oreja? Ear. 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 Ear, okay, excellent. Which of these words means nariz in English? No. 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 Nose. Uh, which of these words means boca in English? Mouth. 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 Which of these words means pies in English? Feet. Foot. 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 Feet. Feet. It's, ah. it's, it's both. Foot is single. Okay, or... okay. One is singular and the other one is plural. Which one is singular? Foot. Okay. Foot. 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 Foot is singular and feet is plural. The same happen with tooth. Tooth is one tooth and teeth. Two teeth, four teeth, and so on. So which of these words means cuello? Mec. Neck. 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 Okay. Neck. Okay. ¿Alguna vez ha usado la frase te voy a dar en la neck? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yeah. I so, <laughs> so now you know where, right? Where you're going to receive the hip. Okay. And what is the meaning of elbow? Elbow. Codo. 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 Yes. What is the meaning of ankle? Rodillo. Bueno, está cerca, but no. Tobillo. Tobillo. Tobillo, yes. That is ankle. Rodilla es knee. 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 La que ya nos duele, ¿verdad? Después de los 30. Comienza, <risa> comienzan los problemas. Se oyen ruidos extraños. So, leg. Corriente. <risa> okay. Ya siente corrientazos ahí. So, leg. Leg, la pierna. El del trabajo lo tenés. Then finger, finger, what is the meaning of dedos. finger? Dedos. 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 Dedos, yes. Hands. Manos. 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 Shoulder, shoulder. Hombro. Hombros. 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 Otra parte que ya nos empieza a doler, ¿verdad? Cuando estamos creciendo en años, back. Espalda. Espalda. Espalda, back. Okay, so these are some body el parts. Estrés. Oh, el estrés too, right? And shoulders <laughs> and back. Okay. And the stomach too, right? So we had a head, eye, ear, nose, mouth, tooth, teeth, chin, back, shoulder, chest, stomach. Wrist, arms, and 
Eh, what, what's your question? Sí, está demasiado. Usted, usted no me cree nada. Uh, usted, Pueden, por favor, apagar su micrófono. Hoy. Ya se secó. Ok, thank you. So let's continue with the class. Uh, what, what do you say? In and read or read in Spanish. Muñeca. Grist. Grist es la muñeca. Muy bien. Grist. Thank you. And any other question about the vocabulary that it is in the slide? Teacher, what is thumb? Thumb es el dedo Lengua. pulgar. Ah, thumb. Thumb es? Yes, thumb is. El pulgar. Thumb. thumb. El pulgar. El pulgar, yes. Thumb. Thank you. ¿Por qué lo diferencian de los otros cuatro dedos? Eh, de hecho, eh, cada dedo tiene su nombre. Pues. Pero los sí. otros solo dicen fingers. Yes, y el finger is in general, right? Fingers, name. Okay. But everyone has its name. It's this. Yes. So we have thumb is the, then we have index finger, index finger, which is, let me see if I can show you this part. Okay. Two. I'm going to use this. It is. So this is thumb, el pulgar. Then I have a index finger, middle finger, middle finger, ring finger, ring finger, and little finger. So those are the names, but in general we say fingers. But we have fingers, in including the thumb. Yes, fingers. Okay. Thank you for your question. Ring finger teacher is for a uh, wedding. Yes, probably the name comes from that fact that in oh. that finger we use the ring when we get married. Probably that is the reason. Okay. Let's continue. So when we are talking about our body part, we use this is or this are. Let's say, for example, this is my head. These are my eyes. This is my chest. These are my shoulder. This is my nose. These are my finger. This is my mouth. These are my elbows. And this is my neck. So use the, this is, when we are using singular and these are, when we are talking about two, two parts of our body. In this case, eyes, we have two, right? So these are my eyes, this is my head, this is my chest, these are my shoulders, this is my nose, these are my finger, this is my mouth, these are my elbow, this is my neck. So we use this. I volunteer to practice these sentences, please. Who wants to read tonight? Okay. Thank you, Eric. This is my head. These are my eyes. This is my chest. These are my shoulders. This is my nose. These are my fingers. This is my mouth. These are my elbows. This is my neck. Thanks a lot. Any other volunteer? Excellent job. Thank you, Eric. Any other volunteer tonight? Who wants Me to participate? Hi. Thank you. Read the sentence. <laughs> okay, this is my head. These are my eyes. This is my chest. These are my shoulders. This is my nose. These are my fingers. This is my mouth. These are my elbow. This, this is my neck. Thank you. Thank you very much. So now let's see. We're going to practice this. Say the correct body part, read the sentence and tell me what is the correct body part to complete this sentence. 
Number one, I smell with my nose. nose. Thank you. I smell with my nose. I touch with my fingers. Fingers. It could be or hands. Hand. In this Body. case, I'll write hands. Hands. <laughs> hands. <laughs> I touch with my hands. I taste with my tongue. tongue. Okay, excellent. Tongue. I had five in my hand. Fingers. 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 I have five fingers in my hand. I chew with my teeth. Yes, I chew with my teeth. What is chew? Chew. Chew is masticar. So I chew with ah, my teeth. I hear with my, I hear with my ears. 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 I hear with my ears. Excellent. Ears. I, ah. I had five in my foot. Fingers. 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 Toes. Again. Toes. 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 I have five toes in my foot. Toes. I see with my eyes. 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 I see with my eyes. Okay, excellent. So, which are the five senses? In the sentences, I have the five senses. Which are they? ¿Cuáles son los cinco sentidos? Here. Here, here, here oh, is one. Here. Nose. Toes. Smell. Eyes. Oh, smell. This is the other one. Smell. Eyes. 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 Toes. See. Ears. See. Hand. See. Ah, yes. See. Listen. Listen or hear. Again, hear in this case. Talking. Which one? Talking. Talking. Ah, that is touch. 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 Thanks. Touch. One is missing. We have hear, smell, see, touch. What is the other one? Moat. Moat. Eight. No, okay. You are near. Mouth. If you say mouth, you are near. Flavor. Taste. Flavor. Taste. 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 Flavor is the name, right? Sabor. But the verb is taste. Taste. So these are the five senses. Smell, touch, taste, hear, and see. So touch, in, in this case, we use the, the skin, right? Toda la piel, right? In touch. But I write hands because it's in general, right? hands. Pero de hecho, el sentido del tacto lo tenemos en toda la piel. In the skin. 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 That is piel. Skin. Thank you. Do you have any question about this? A volunteer to practice in the sentences. Who wants to practice? Me, teacher. Uh, Thank you, Manuel. I... Okay. Uh, the eight sentences? Um, three, please. Three, okay. Uh, I smell with my nose. I touch with my hands. And I taste with my tongue. Thank you. Any other volunteer to read number four, Me? five, and six? I have five fingers in my hand. I chill with my teeth. I hear with my ears. Thank you. I volunteer for. Two I have five tools in the foot. I see with my eyes. Thank you. So, can you please repeat toes? Toes. Toes. Eyes. 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 Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Chew. Chew. That is, I chew with my teeth. Chew. Any other question? Teacher. Yes. Tell What's me, the meaning of chew? Chew, masticar. Masticar and number three, I taste or taste. Um, that is probar, I taste with probar. my tongue. Yes. 
Okay. Don't you remember at the school the rule, don't you gum? ¿Se acuerdan de esa regla? Don't you gum. Don't page gant in the head of your classmate. No mastique chicle, no le pegue chicle en el cabello a sus compañeros. By the way, how do you say cabello in English? Hair. 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 Thank you. Now let's go with this. Common illnesses. Common illnesses vocabulary. We are going to learn today about some illnesses that we suffered. Uh, illnesses son enfermedades, but enfermedades comunes que sufrimos. And the first one is a cold, the flu, a headache, a toothache, a fever, a cough, a rash, a broken arm, a stomachache, an earache, a backache, a diarrhea, a vomit, a sore throat, a sore shoulder, and a broken leg. So, ¿de cuáles de estas ha padecido? A cold. Mm, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Y yo yeah. sé, teacher, all of them. Todas y todas juntas. <laughs> Me dieron a la misma vez todas. <laughs> So we have the first one, a cold, resfriado, the flu, la, gri la gripe, a, a headache, dolor, dolor de, de cabeza, cabeza, a tooth age, dolor de muela, dolor de muelas, fiebre. The next one is fever. a fever, una fiebre, fever. a cough. That is a <coughs> that is cough. Tos. Tos. A rash is like Picasso. Picasso. Yes. Alergia. And a broken arm is like Quebramos. Eh, okay, un brazo roto. ¿no? Tener un brazo roto, a broken arm. Stomach age. Dolor de estómago. Dolor de estómago. Ear, ear age. Ear age. Dolor de oído. De oído. Thank you. Back age. Back age. Everybody. Dolor de espalda. Dolor de espalda. Everybody, everyone. Okay, everybody has a back itch. A diarrhea. A diarrhea. Yeah, um, in, in, in May. <laughs> okay, that is the worst. That is the worst illness. You can go out of your home. You must stay at home. A vomit. A sore throat. A sore shoulder. A broken leg. What is, what is sore throat? Sore throat is like infection uh, in la garganta, ardor in la garganta. In sore shoulder is dolor de hombros. Okay. A broken leg, un, tener una pierna rota. So how we are going to use this vocabulary in a sentence? To say that we are suffering from one of these illnesses, we are going to use the verb have. And you are going to say, I have a cold, I have the flu, I have a headache, I have a toothache. Y en el caso de las terceras personas, which are he, she, and it, we are going to say has. She has a fever, she has a rash, he has a broken arm, it has a broken leg, for example. So look this in the following conversation. And it says, hey, Kenichi, how are you? Oh, I'm not so good, actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache and a backache. Maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad, but maybe I can help. Let's have a lunch at the new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. So how is, how is Kenichi? How is Kenichi? ¿Cómo está? ¿Cómo se siente? How is Kenichi? Uh -huh. 
he has a headache. Oh, he has a headache. Muy bien. He has a headache. And also a... He has a... Backache. Backache. But look at this. How are you? Look at this question. How are you? And you always say, I'm fine. I'm good. I'm happy. I'm perfect. I'm excellent. Qué bueno que así nos sintiéramos siempre, ¿verdad? Pero en algunas ocasiones nos sentimos como esta persona. Kenichi, and you say, I'm not so good. I'm not so good. No estoy muy bien. Actually mean en realidad. Oh, I'm not so good, actually. En realidad, no estoy muy bien. And then, what's the matter? It's like in Spanish, right? Cuando alguien le dice a usted, um, ¿Cómo estás? Vieras que me siento bien mal. ¿Qué te pasa? ¿Cuál es el problema? So that is this question. What's the matter? What's the matter? Y ahí comienza la persona a decirle, ¿verdad? ¿Cuáles son sus problemas? O su enfermedad. In this case, I have a headache and a backache. Tengo dolor de cabeza y dolor de espalda. And Brian says, maybe you have the flu. Puede ser que tengas gripe. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. No, creo que solo me siento un poco. What is homesick? Nostálgico. Yes, thank you. Nostálgico for Japan. That's too bad, but maybe I can help. Eso es muy malo, pero tal vez puedo ayudarte. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. To volunteers to practice this conversation. If you don't have any question about the vocabulary, do you have any question? Thank you, Francisco. Any other volunteer? Me? Mm. Fran and Jose and me. Brian? Francisco and Brian. Okay, Francisco, okay. you are going to be Brian and Roberto, you are going to be Kenichi. Okay. Vamos. Hey, Kenichi, how are you? Uh, oh, I'm not so good actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a hat, hat cage and back cage. Maybe you have the flu? No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad. But maybe I can help. Let's let's have lunch, have lunch at the new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Thanks a lot. Now the girl who say me before to start this practice. Me. Thank you, Vanessa. Vanessa and me. Vanessa and Patricia. Vanessa okay. and Patty, please. Vanessa, you are going to be Brian. And Patty, you are going to be Kenichi. Okay. Hey, Kenichi, how are you? Oh, I am not so good, actually. Why? What do you matter? Well, I have a handshake and a vacant. Maybe you have the fruit? No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad, but maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at that new Japan restaurant. Thanks, a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Thank you very much. So thank you, Francisco. Thank you, Roberto. Thank you, Patty and Vanessa. You did a great job. Thanks a lot. So look at this word. How do you pronounce this one? How do you pronounce this word? Actually. 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 
actually, actually. 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 Oh, I'm not so good, actually. Puede pronunciar good, actually. And package. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Package. Yes, yes. Okay, we have actually. Then this other one, headache. Head, head edge. Headache. 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 Back, back edge. Okay. Back age. Back age. Muy bien. And let's see the other one. Which was the other one? The kids. Oh, how do you pronounce this? Japanese. 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 And this other one. Idea. 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 That's a great idea. Thanks. Idea. A great idea. 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 Things a lot. So, do you have any? There is here any word that you don't know the meaning in Spanish? Let's see, for example, maybe. What's the meaning of maybe? Tal vez. Tal vez. Quizás. Tal vez. Tal vez. Quizás. Okay. Podría. That's too bad. Probable. Yes. Eh, probable. Podría. Podría. Pero yo podría ayudar. O tal vez te pueda ayudar. Maybe I can help you. Let's go with the next thing. So remember this conversation. We're going to use some sentences. Look at this. How are you? How do you answer to this question? Hey, hello, guys. How are you today? I'm fine. Okay, then. I am right. I'm okay. okay. Any other answer? Any other way to answer? I'm fine. I'm great. I'm excellent. I'm great. I'm terrific. Okay. I'm terrific. So we can use this adjective to answer. And you say, I'm fine. I'm great. I'm terrific. I'm fantastic. Okay. Pero todo el tiempo nos sentimos así. Estoy bien, me siento grandioso. I'm crazy. <laughs> I'm sleep. I'm sleepy. I'm sleepy. I'm sad. I'm sad. Lazy. I'm, I'm sick. I'm lazy. I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired. Okay, those are very good answers too. Si nos sentimos mal, we can use this. I'm sick. I'm awful. Awful means uh, very terrible, very bad. That is the meaning of awful. I'm terrible. I'm miserable. So we can use this uh, in negative, right? Cuando nos sentimos mal. I'm sick. I'm awful. I'm terrible. I'm miserable. Today wasn't my day. Hoy no fue mi día. Today wasn't my day. I have a yes. lot of I have a lot of problems. I made mistake at my work. So today wasn't my day. Teacher, uh, in Spanish, awful is what is awful. Muy mal. Muy mal. Okay. I'm awful. Me siento muy mal. Yo estoy muy mal. We can use instead of how are you, we can use how do you feel. How do you feel? How do you feel tonight? ¿Cómo se siente hoy? I am awful. I am awful. I'm so sorry to hear that. I'm sick. You are sick. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that too. Or two. Can you please repeat the last sentence? I am please. sick for two, le está diciendo a él, por dos, yo también me Ah, ok, <laughs> ok, I'm sick for two. Ok, se siente bastante enfermo. I feel great. I feel great. I feel fantastic. Then we can use feel too. Instead of the verb be, we can use the verb feel. I feel great. I feel fantastic. Or you can say, I don't feel well. No me siento bien. I feel sick, I feel terrible, and I feel miserable. Sir. No me siento bien, me siento enfermo, me siento terrible, 
me siento muy mal, miserable. So let's see. Then what's next? What's next when a person say, I'm sick, I'm awful, I'm terrible, I'm miserable. How do you say to that person? ¿Qué le dice usted cuando alguien dice, estoy enfermo, no me siento bien? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. En eso, en eso, good. En estos días le pregunta, ¿son síntomas de gripe? Aléjate de mí, güey. So, ¿Es this COVID? <laughs> Go away. Go away. No, uh, uh, I can help you. It's a, a good answer. Yes, but if we want to know what happened with this person, we ask this question. What's the matter? Or what's good on? What's the matter? Uh, okay. Si queremos saber más, ¿verdad? ¿De qué le pasa? ¿Qué le sucede? We say, what's the matter? What's wrong? ¿Cuál es el problema? What's the matter? Y cuando dice, what's wrong with you? ¿Qué pasa con, contigo? ¿Eso significa? Así es. ¿Qué pasa contigo? Uh, ¿Cuál okay. es el problema contigo? Eh, what's the matter with you? So, we use the verb to say, right? What happened? So, well, I have a headache and a backache. Bueno, tengo dolor de cabeza y dolor de espalda. I have a cold. I have the flu. I have a stomach itch. COVID. Or you can use the verb <laughs> feel too. I feel dizzy. I feel dizzy? homesick. I don't feel good. I feel sick. Teacher, dizzy. 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 Is mareado. ¿no? mareado. I feel dizzy. Uh, como cuando se baja de la voladora o de Chicago. <laughs> Eso es ser goma. Sí. I feel home no, no, no incapacity. Really? <laughs> no incapacity in this. Ok. Then homesick. The meaning of homesick era... Mm, what was homesick? Nostalgia. Nostalgia, nostálgico. Eh, I don't feel good. No me siento, me siento bien. bien. I feel sick. Siento, me siento como enfermo. Enfermo, muy bien. Those are the answers for these two questions. What's the matter with you? What's wrong with you? What's wrong? Let's practice this in a conversation. I have here some small conversation. The first one is, hi, how are you? I'm awful. What's the matter? I have a stomach ache and diarrhea. Second example, hello, how do you feel? I don't feel well. What's wrong? I have a terrible headache and I feel dizzy. So, to volunteers, to volunteers, do you have any question about these two small conversations? Me, me, teacher. Me, me, teacher. Me. Manuel, Hi. Manuel and Mario in the first conversation and in the second one, we're going to have, um, oh, what is the meaning of hi? That was your question? Hi, how are okay. you? I am awful. What's the matter? I have a stomach and diarrhea. Thank you very stomach much. Stomach age. Stomach age. Stomach age and diarrhea. Stomach and diarrhea. Thank you very much. So, vamos a hacer algo. Pueden levantar su manita virtual, please. Can you? Para los que quieran participar, and I have Vanessa and Jonathan. Thank you. Hello. How do you feel? I don't feel well. What's wrong? I have a terrible health ish and I feel dizzy. Thank you. Let's see who more. And then I have Vanessa and Francisco, please. In the first one, in the first conversation. Hi, how are you? I'm awful. What's the matter? I have a stomach and diarrhea. Thank you very much. I have a stomach ache and diarrhea. Nice. In the second conversation. Sorry, teacher, pardon, habemos dos Vanessas. Uh, we have Vanessa Guadalupe and... 
Well, Francisco and Vanessa Guadalupe in the last. Ya Is participé yo, teacher. Sería eh, la otra Vanessa que participe. Heidi, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Vanessa. Uh, Heidi. Hey, Vanessa, uno y dos. <laughs> Vanessa Guadalupe <laughs> and Heidi, Vanessa. Ok, thanks. So, Heidi, Vanessa and Francisco in the second conversation, please. Hello. How do you, how do, you do feel? I don't feel well. What's wrong? I have a terrible headache and I feel dizzy. Okay. Thanks. Thanks a lot. You did a great job. Thank you for the ones who participate at this time. You did a great job. So, headache. 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 How do you feel? How do you feel? Next to the next. Okay, now look at this. We are going to have this exercise. Match the problem with the advice. Match the problem with the advice. In the chat, pueden por favor escribir el número y la letra que usted considere que es la respuesta correcta. Write the number and the letter on the chat. So the combination that you think is the correct, you can say uh, 1D, 2D, 3B, and so on. Right on your chat, please. Okay. Roberto, do you have a question? No. Have, no, no. So number one, I have a terrible headache. ¿Cuál sería un consejo para ese problema? Match the problem with the advice. Take some aspirin. Ok. So, uh, take some aspirin. One C. I have here Manuel, Jonathan, and Tatiana. One C. But that is a one D. Go to the dentist. Mm, probably no. That is one C. One C, taste an aspirin. So the number two, my back hurts. My back hurts. F. F, get a message. Thank you, letter F, get a message. Get a message. Number three, in the chat, this in case, stress A. Three, in the letter E. Take off your shoes. My yes. feet are hurting me. Take off your shoes. My stomach hurts often. For A. Okay. Don't eat so much. Don't eat so much. Number five, I have an E H. Five, five B. Five Don't B. put your finger in your ear. In yeah. the chat, this is five B for A. Thank you, Monica. Thank you, Jonathan. Katie, thank you. And what's the last the one. Meaning? What's the meaning of? Hirch. Dolor de oído. Hirch. 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 And the last one, I have a tooth age. Tooth age. In the chat, this is six D. Go to the dentist. Go to the dentist. Okay, now pay attention to this sentence. My back hurts. Heart, el verbo heart is el verbo doler. My back hurts. Instead of saying I have a backache, okay. we can use this other way to say that illness. My back hurts. My stomach hurts. My tooth hurts. We can use this. My chest hurts. Podemos decirlo de esa manera también. My back hurts. My, my stomach hurts. 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 My knee, my knee hurts. So number one, I have a terrible headache. 
takes an aspirin. My back heart get a message. My feet are hurting me. Mis pies me están doliendo. Day of your shoes. ¿Ya les ha sucedido? ¿Fueron a alguna fiesta estrenando zapatos y les tocó llevarlo en la mano? Yes. Yes. No. <laughs> no. Okay. Then my stomach hurts often. Don't eat so much. Don't eat so much. Mi estómago me duele con frecuencia. No coma mucho. Don't eat so much pupusas. Don't eat so Politis. much pizza. <laughs> Politis. <laughs> Politis. Y aguda. So I have an earache. Then you say, don't put your finger in your ear. No ponga su dedo dentro de su oído. I have a toothache. Go to the dentist. So let's see. Sorry, Five B. Thank you. Do you have any question, Francisco? Oh, negative. Vanessa Guadalupe, I can see your hand up. And Roberto, too. Do you have any question? No. No, teacher. No. Ah, okay. Let's continue then. What time is it? Oh, we're almost to finish. Okay, here are the answer. I put ahí estaba en la respuesta. 1C, 2F, 3E, 4A, 5B, and 6E. Then, what's the matter with her? Look at picture number one. What's the matter with her? Head headache. Oh, headache? Head. Yes. Uh, what is the sentence? Say the complete sentence, please. She has. She, she has, has a, headache. a headache. A headache. She has a headache. Things. What's the matter with her? She has a flu. She has a flu. She has the. She has the flu. She has the flu. She has the flu. What's the matter with her? She has, she has a tooth. 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 She has a stomach headaches. And probably a headache too. Let's see. What's the matter with him? The hair? His hair? No, him. What's the matter with him? ¿Cuál es el problema con él? She has. A, he has. So much. He has. Has a stomach uh, ache. Stomach ache. <laughs> What's the matter with him? He, he has, has a back pain. He has a back, back, back ache. Back and the last one. What's the matter with him? Dizzy he throat. He's a dizzy throat. He has. Throat. He, he has, has a sore, has the, sore throat. He has a sore throat. throat. Okay, excellent. Now I need to volunteer. Can you please put your hand up, your virtual hand up? If you want to participate, I have Manuel and... Manuel and Vanessa Guadalupe. Manuel, you are going to ask the question and Vanessa is going to answer. This is picture number one, picture number two, picture number three, and picture number four. So say the number. What's the matter with her in picture number? And you say the number of the picture you want to ask. Okay. Go oh, then. Vanessa. What's the matter with her in the picture number three? She 
Um, she have a tooth. tooth. She has a tooth age. Excellent. Tooth Thank you. Age. Tooth age. Now, Vanessa, say the equation. What's the matter with her in number and choose one of your classmates? What's the matter with her um, picture four? Picture four. Uh, ¿Quién la pregunta? Escoja uno de sus compañeros. Um, Heidi Vanessa. Ah, ok. Ya la toca ya. Thank you. Uh, she has a fro. Fro. She has sort of throw. In number four. Infección en la garganta, sore throat. Stomach cage. Oh, stomach. She has a stomach cage. Thank you. Let's go with the next. Uh, another volunteer. Any other volunteer? No volunteers tonight. Bueno, es casi viernes, los entiendo. Oh, here we go. So I have Manuel and Roberto. Thank you, Manuel and Roberto. So, Roberto, you are going to say the question and Manuel, you are going to say the answer. What's the matter with him? Uh, picture. Ah, number one. Uh, he has um, a stomach ache. Yes, you are right. Roberto, next question. Uh, he has a package. Thank you. Excellent answer. He has a package. And the last one, what's the matter with him? Well, uh, he has a sore throat. Sore throat. Sore throat. Thank you. Then let's see. Today, we're going to learn also some medicine vocabulary. Vocabulary acerca de la medicina. So we have cold syrup, cold syrup, sorry, cold syrup, pills, capsules, aspirin, antacid, a drops, muscle cream, cough drops. So we have jarabe para la tos, cold syrup, pills, pastillas, capsule. Cápsulas, aspirin, antacid, antiácido, a drops, gotas para los ojos, muscle cream, eh, crema, ¿verdad? Para sobar los músculos. Pronoun, mo muscle, teacher. Muscle, muscle cream. Muscle cream. Muscle cream, calf drops, calf drops. Sería para la tos también, medicina para la tos drop. Esas son pastillas y el primer jarabe. Eh, drops son gotas, drops, drops, cold. El primero, el sirop. Sirop, jarabe. Jarabe, ok. And then we can use the sentence. Whenever I have cold, I take cold sirop. Cada vez, ¿verdad? Que me da tos, yo tomo jarabe para... La tos. Whenever I have sore eyes, I put eye drops. Siempre que me tengo ardor en los ojos, me pongo gotas. I put eye drops. Whenever sore is I... like ardor. Yes. Okay. Whenever, whenever I have a stomachache, I take antacid. Whenever I have a fever, I take acetamino. Acetaminophen pills. Siempre que yo tengo fiebre, tomo pastillas de acetaminophen. So we are going to have this vocabulary in the presentation. I'm going to share it with you. And then the last one. So look at this. We are going to discuss this question. Number one, how are you? How do you feel? What's the matter? Or what's grant? Teacher, I have yes. a 
question. What is your question? What is the difference? What's the matter? And what's wrong? There is no difference. They means the same. Oh, okay. Significa lo mismo. What's the matter? Or what's wrong? So you have the option to make that question. You okay, can use what's the matter or you can use what's wrong. So let's see. Escojan una de las enfermedades que vimos el día de hoy. Choose when. Choose when. Headache. Okay. Uh, now we're going to have a practice here. And let's see, we're going to start with Eric. Hello, Eric, how are you? Eric. No, Eric. So let's change. Let's start with Patricia. Patricia, can you listen to me? No. Ya se fueron todos. Hay alguien con vida. Hay alguien con vida por ahí. No. <laughs> okay, let's start with Manuel. <laughs> Manuel, how are you? Hi, teacher. Uh, I know so good. What's the matter? I have a I have a sore on my throat. I have a I'm just, I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, now let's start a conversation with Francisco. Say hello, Francisco. How are you? And Francisco, going, I feel terrible. I am miserable. I am sick. Manuel, please. I am sick. Oh. <laughs> Manuel, comience la conversación. Ah, okay, okay. Hi, Francisco. How are you? Uh, so, so, I am, I am. I feel you. I feel. I <laughs> feel. Oh, esperen la pregunta. La siguiente pregunta es, what's the matter? Okay. What's, what's the matter, Francisco? I, I have, I have um, dolor de cabeza, como es, perdón. Headache. 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 I have a headache. Okay, thank you. Let's go with Heidi Vanessa. Hello, Heidi. Good evening. How are you tonight? I am very tired. Uh, you are very tired. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Bueno, en ese caso, de una vez me dijo que le sucedía. So, um, I can say, <laughs> what's the matter? I, I can say that. What's the matter? So let's go with Ricardo. Hello, Ricardo. Good evening. How are you? How are you? I am sick. What's the matter? Uh, I have a cold. I have a cough. Okay. A cold. I have. A cold. Ah, you have a cold. <laughs> he has a cold. Tiene un resfriado. I'm sorry to hear that. Take some hot tea. Drink some hot tea. Algo de té caliente. So let's go with. Okay, we're going to stop the class here. And I'm going to say thank you for your attention, for your participation. Thanks a lot. And I want to remind you the platform. It's important that you work. Uh, the exercise on the platform. Es importante que usted trabaje los ejercicios en la plataforma. Y en su día, que yo sé que es muy ocupado, si les queda algún espacio, eh, traten de avanzar en la plataforma para que no se nos vaya acumulando ese trabajo para el final del módulo. Dígame, Manuel. Teacher, uh, in the practice, how do you feel at the end of this class? Uh, you. <laughs> um, I feel good. 
I feel good. But if you want to practice, I'm going to say, I feel awful. Ah, okay. And you say, <laughs> what's the matter? <laughs> okay. Thanks a lot. Gracias a todos. Thank you very much. Uh, tomorrow we don't have class. We're going to have class until Monday. See you on Monday. Enjoy your weekend. Disfruten su fin de semana. Visit your family. Rest a lot. Enjoy. Enjoy your weekend. See you on Monday. Thank you, Thank you teacher. teacher. Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 B